testimony by the CDC folks and the snippet from Contagion just re-verified what I know. The CDC is a constant wonder. They solve cases, they solve health problems, they're the world's health center, and their reach is all the way around the globe. We're just fortunate to have them in Atlanta, Georgia, but even more fortunate as human beings to have them looking after us every single day. Technology Industry Organization, and today at this event, uh, I learned uh, just how much of a global impact uh, the CDC has. I know it's a uh, organization within the U.S., but didn't realize uh, the global impact that they had uh, around the world. The fact that we brought so many people together here to bring the CDC to life. Uh, the fact that Contagion is a Hollywood movie, but the, the work that the people of the CDC do every day is so important to all of us in this room and everybody across the country and the world. So um, we really learned that disease has no borders this evening, and that the movie reinforces that fact, too. Hi, I'm Carl Muller, the Executive Director of the Campaign for Public Health Foundation, and tonight's event was just a really uh, hats off to the CDC Foundation and the CDC. A uh, really great briefing, and thanks especially to the top-notch CDC folks that came to address the Washington crowd about everything that uh, Contagion the movie has uh, that's based on science, science of CDC. It really is uh, an amazing agency, and I think the movie and tonight's presentation brings that to light. Um, for our part, we're concerned about the $1.3 billion in budget authority cuts and the 43,000 uh, state and local health officials who have lost their jobs or haven't been rehired or empty positions that are sitting out there in public health. Uh, you know, the United States needs a strong infrastructure to respond to threats, uh, real threats like the movie depicts. And uh, just, again, hats off to the CDC Foundation for putting together a great event. I knew about what they did here in the U.S., but I didn't realize that they really were the, national, or the international leader on so much, and that other countries really turned to us if they were looking for information about uh, outbreaks or pandemics or epidemics in their own countries. I'm Bobby Pestrock, the Executive Director of the National Association of County and City Health Officials. It's glad to be here for this event tonight at Union Station. CDC and state and local health departments, I know from both my role at NHO and as a former local health official, are critical to the safety of the people in the United States and to protect the people of the United States. What I gathered again today is so important is for all of us to recognize how important this public health system of the CDC, state and local health departments is to talk with our elected officials, to talk with our friends and our neighbors, and raise everybody's awareness about how essential these public health agencies are in the United States. Hi, good evening. My name is uh, Rear Admiral Boris Lushniak, and I'm Deputy Surgeon General. And uh, tonight's evening was really spectacular. First of all, as a former CDC -er and a former EIS officer, uh, it was great to reconnect with CDC, uh, but also to see CDC shine in this light limelight. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie Contagion. I'm looking forward to re reminiscing about the days of being an EIS officer. But also, I also think first and foremost is the issue of having the support for CDC. Real Realizing that the preeminent public health organization needs to be supported, and so therefore I'm here to support them. So thank you very much for a great evening.